Ladies and gentlemen, will you please all stand for the national anthem? As sung to you by Mr. Tony Clifton. in the middle of a sad movie. This is a wife. She's a tilt of a pretty head as she passes a hallway mirror. She's a flounce out of a room when she's peeved about something. This is a wife. She's a smile across the room of strangers. She's a pair of waiting arms for a weary warrior. She prepares frayed banners torn on daily battlefields. She cushions defeat and makes victories worthwhile. This is a wife. A wife, a wife is an unpredictable creature. She can remember a rose placed in her hand 25 years ago, but she can't even recall if she left an old foot of milk man. <laughs> She's magic with a dish towel in her hand. Romance running a vacuum cleaner. Charm with a smudge of cake though on her nose. Wives look beautiful in the oddest places, like standing in a doorway, or balancing on a shaky ladder painting a room, or bending over a sofa or rearranging a pillow, or standing on her toes while reaching high on a shelf, or waiting in a rain for a husband to open a car door. <laughs> Wives are expensive luxuries, and they're worth every dollar and kiss that they cost. An apologetic smile when the checkbook doesn't balance, a frown when a husband is late for dinner. Contentment when a day's work is done. And night falls, and all every member of the family is safe under the roof of a happy home. This is a wife. <laughs> okay, want to another one? Want any more? Okay, all right, do I have time to do more? What are you talking about? I, they told me I should come out here to sing the national anthem, but I thought I'd say a few words to you. Incidentally, uh, incidentally, if you haven't seen these already, I'd like to just mention before I go that uh, this is the original Tony Clifton medallion. You can buy these. It's a very limited supply, so they're, they're, they're for $2.50 each. They'll be selling them in the next intermission out in the lobby. 
Size, you know, I suggest you buy one because you won't be able to get these in the stores. You won't be able to get them in the street after tonight. And you could say to your people, you could say, I got this at the uh, Carnegie Hall concert, original Tony Clifford medallion. <laughs> Take it home to your sweetheart. All right. How much time do I have? I want to talk to you about some. You know, being a mother in law is, is not is the most, most difficult task in the world. What? The mother in law? All right, I'll, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just ask to leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the stage now. I'm gonna, well, but I'll, okay, wait a minute. All right, all right. Uh, don't, don't be just so excited here. Uh, hey, how you doing up there? How's the, how's the weather up there? How's the weather up there? It must be uh, is it cold or hot. Yeah, it is cold up there. Huh? It's cold. It's, uh, the, well, how's the weather down here? Hot. How's the weather up there? Cold. Everybody say cold. <laughs> say cold. Brr, cold. Go brr, cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. I'm very glad to be out here to, to, to open the show for, for Kaufman and Carnegie Hall. And uh, without any further ado, I'd like to do my closing number for you right now. Well, let, let's, let's take away boys here. <laughs> be finer than to be in Carolina in a morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. And no one could be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet her in a morning. If I had a lady sleep for only a day, I'd make a wish and hear what I'd say. And nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Okay, take it away, boy. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Good night, thank you. Right now, is the, uh, without any further ado, I want to move right along with the show because I got a big show. They got a big show planned for you tonight, so I'm not going to take any more time. I like to introduce you, my proteges. I discovered these people myself, and they're my proteges. So please give them a warm welcome, big hand. My personal discoveries: the Love Family.
come sweeping down the plane And the raging wheat can sure smell sweet As the wind comes right behind the rain Oh, 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 oh. the home of every night My honey lamb and I We sit alone and talk And watch a hawk Making lazy circles in the sky We know we belong to the land doing a children's show, a TV show, every week in Boston. It's called Uncle Andy's Fun House. And I wrote this song for the show. And we used to sing this every week. Oh, the cow goes moo, and the dog goes whoop, and the cat goes meow, and the bird goes tweet, and the pig goes oink. And the lion goes roar, and that's the way it goes. <laughs> Say, I've got an idea. <laughs> Let's all sing the song together, okay? Okay? Everybody say, okay. 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 Now this time, I'll sing the name of the animal, and you sing what the animal says. Okay? Okay? Okay. Every time I say okay, everybody say okay. Okay. Now. Okay, now when we get to the... Now when we get to the lion, everybody say roar, real, real loud. Let's try it. One, two, three. Oh, come on now, you could do better than that. Come on, one, two, three. Very good. And we'll all sing, and that's the way it goes. Together, okay? cow goes, and the dog goes, and the cat goes, and the bird goes, and the pig goes, and the lion goes, and that's the way it goes. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome to my show at Carnegie Hall. I'm very, very happy to be here. I'd just like to say a few things before I continue. Um, when I was, a few years ago, when I was starting in show business, my grandmother 
we used to talk a lot. And uh, I said, she said, why are you wasting your time? You know? and, I, and I said, Grandma, one day I'm going to be playing in Carnegie Hall. She said, oh, come on. I said, yep. Grandma, I promise you, I'll be in Carnegie Hall. And when that day comes, I'm going to give you the best seat in the house. <laughs> so anyway, there's my grandma. I told you, I told you, I told you this would happen, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, and also, we have a wonderful show that I hope you're going to enjoy tonight. Um, we're going to have oh, all kinds of things, surprises, prizes, games, movies, cartoons, guests, big name stars, and later on, if everyone is good, now only if everyone is good, everyone, everyone, okay? <laughs> no, seriously, if everyone is good, then later on, we're all going to go out for a snack. So, <laughs> so anyway, let's see what we're going to have today. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi. What are we going to have today? We're going to have milk and cookies. Everybody say, milk and cookies. No. Okay, everybody say milk. And now everybody say cookies. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Is there anything else? Let's see. No, that's about it. Right now I'd like to do something for you. You know that? A year, not this past New Year's, but the New, New Year's before. I spent uh, about two weeks in New York City just walking the streets like a crazy man. And I was trying to see just like how many different crazy people I could become, you know, like every, like sometimes I'd walk like this, you know, so, you know, and, and um, the thing about New York is that you can walk any way you want to and everybody thinks that's the way you really walk. So, you know, no one... No one's going to come up to you and say, uh, you know, I mean, anyone, anyone could do it. You can walk, you know, you can walk any way you want to, and no one's going to come up to you and say, oh, you're terrible, you're making fun of people who walk like that, because they'll think that you're the people who walk like that. <laughs> so that's what I was doing, and on New Year's Eve, I went to Times Square to watch the ball drop, and I figured that was the perfect place to go. So I was walking around like a crazy man saying to people, you mark my, you mark my words, you mark my words, in 20, 20 minutes that ball's going to drop, it's going to be a new year. You know, and uh, finally I, I saw the ball drop, and then I was saying to people as they were passing by, see, I told you, I told you it was going to be a new year. You know? And I'm walking around, and on the corner of 45th Street and Broadway, I saw a crowd of people in a circle, and they were all watching this, this one man. He was a very, oh, very happy man. A very, he had a very blissful face, is the way I would describe it. He looked sort of like Santa Claus. And uh, I, I just thought, this is great, you know, this is such a happy thing. People would walk by, they would stop and join the circle and start singing along with him. And after he was finished, it was 25 after 12, I went up to him, I said, Mr., can I, can I get your name? Or, you know, because I think what you do is phenomenal. You, you just stand here and you sing over and over again, Happy New Year, and it just makes people so happy. You have this, 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 uh, this wonderful power of happiness, I guess. And I'm in show business, and I, I don't know anything I could do with you now, but if I ever do a show, I would love to bring you, you know, to the show. And I promised him that. And, I, and then sure enough, here I came to New York a few weeks ago and I'm in Carnegie Hall with my own show. And I thought, well, I'm going to look for this man. And he's with us tonight. So can you please give a great big hand to Mr. Grant Foman. <laughs> New York Times Square is the only place in the world I'd rather be when the Times Square coming, when the New Year's coming, I could say. Therefore, <coughs> I'm uh -huh. so glad to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I never was on the stage before, but I'm telling you all, look, it's like New Year's. We look at all the people and everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we're going to... How, how, how did you... How, did you um, how many years have you been standing on that corner singing that song? Well, I've been uh, on that corner for about 
24, 25 years. Yeah, this past New Year was 25 years, actually, because you told me it was 24. I don't know. What? Some of the people in the audience probably saw me there. How many people have seen Grant Bowman? Um, really? Great. Well, we're going to try and give the spirit. You know, I think New Year's is a wonderful holiday. I think it should be New Year's all year round, because that's people are very friendly. We're going to try and put the spirit of New Year's into tonight. So we're going to have Grant Bowman. Grant Bowman, right? Grant Bliss Bowman. Grant. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Grant Bliss Bowman. He's going to sing his New Year's song for us tonight, okay? Right? <laughs> okay, well, here you go. Now, is there anything you want us to do as you sing it? Well, I'll tell you, uh, just like when I'm um, out there on Times Square and I'm singing Happy New Year and everybody passed by to shake my hand and just say, Happy New Year. I say, Happy New Year. They holler back, Happy New Year. I say, Happy New Year. It's a Happy New Year. So let's make it Happy New Year tonight. So everybody sing back. When he says Happy New Year, everybody say, Happy New Year. Back. You know, sing it back. Okay, here you go. You want to hold it? All right. Or stand? Around the world I've seen the age of Attic land. So get Perry and then I wear the desert end. But New York is for me, my friend. The wonder city of the land. Come on, everybody, for a happy new year. Do up Times Square, help everywhere. Get on Times Square, celebrate there. New York Times Square, happy new year. Happy New Year! 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 Oh, bless 
dance troupe of girls you just saw, the cowgirls with the horses, and we have her with us tonight. So let's bring her out with a rousing applause, Eleanor Cody Gould! each other until just now and uh, I've been watching that movie since I was little because my grandfather gave that to me when I was a very little boy so I feel as though I sort of know you because I've been you know exactly how, when was that movie made that was made in 1931 really that long ago how old were you then oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no because then we could figure out how old you are now you, you almost that. okay that okay well <laughs> well tell me did you make a lot of those movies this kind oh, of movie sure. There were lots of fun. I made a lot of them. And what was the purpose of them, the such, such short movies? Oh, well, they were sort of promos for the real movie that was coming on later, you see, a, a preview. And that was a movie called Forest Rangers. I see. So this yeah. is like the coming, in those days, they just, they used these as like coming attractions, well, right? Attraction, that's uh -huh. what it was. Tell me, were those real cowboys in that movie? Oh, sure. Or were they actors? Oh, actors couldn't do the stunts that the cowboys had to do, no. I think, I think in those days, you know, the, the, they took real cowboys and they made them into actors as opposed to nowadays where an actor, be, you know, acts as a cowboy. In those days, they were cowboy, real cowboys and then they made, them, made films as actors. Did you get to know any, you know, like for instance, there was uh, a lot of famous cowboys and did you know any of them? Like, um, who I was knew that Tom guy? Mix. Tom Mix. Hey, you know him? Oh, yes, he was a lovely man. Uh-huh. Oh, we were such good friends. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you know uh, Will Rogers? Oh, no, and I always wanted to know him because I admired him so much, yeah. but I never met him. Oh, uh, how, how did you feel when the plane crashed? Oh! <laughs> I was devastated, just like everybody else in the world. Yeah. Came kind of like out of the clear blue sky, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, well, you know what? Uh, did you know any of the cowboys in the movie that we just saw? Oh, sure. Yeah? Yeah, I know them real well, some uh -huh. of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew what? one of them well enough to marry him. Really? Oh, well, how, yeah. well, how was see, that I like? was that skinny little girl at the end. Yeah? And that handsome cowboy that was singing to me. Yeah? Oh, that was he the was the one I married. Really? Did you do yeah. shows with him? And oh, sure. Is he, with, us? Is he with you now? Oh, no. No. No, we had ten wonderful years together. Yeah? And then the Second World War came along and I lost him. Oh, I'm sorry. And I, I just sort of my... I, my heart gave out of, I didn't want to do f films or movies or anything else anymore, and so I just gave up show business. Well, well, you're back in it tonight. Okay, you're back with us tonight, right? Okay. And you know what? We're going to have you do a little dance for us now. Uh, we have a reasonable facsimile thereof of the horse that you used in that movie. Oh, hey. I haven't done for 30 years. Okay. Okay, well, do you remember the steps? No. Remember? Do you remember the steps in the movie? Okay, well, do you want to give it a try? 
Okay, let's, let's have a big hand for Eleanor Cody Gould. seriously. Is there a doctor in the house, please? Will you shut these lights off? Teddy, will you shut the, the side lights off here, please? I would like to do for you a song which is sung every year at harvest time in the islands of the Caspian Sea.
shoulders to the ground for the count of three. This is wrestling. There's no punching, no pulling of hair. It's up to you to decide who the girl will be. We're going to ask them all their name. What's your name? Anne. Anne? Mary. Carrie. Jessica. Emily. Leslie. Bill. Eva. Colleen. Anne. Phyllis. Deborah. Gina. Mindy. Okay, it's up to you to decide. I'll put my hand over their head. What do I hear for? he has decided to wrestle a woman in his show. I don't think that it's possible for a woman to beat a man in wrestling. I want to ask Deborah 
what she thinks of that comment. He has had it. He has had it. Punching, 
No kicking, no biting, no scratching, nothing that could hurt anybody. No submission holds. Only, only have to pin me, that's all. And if you don't pin me, then you don't win anything. Balcony. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. No, this, no, we will do this. Listen, look, I will tell you what. This, we will do this wrestling match. You can win $1,000 if you pin his shoulders, but I will tell you one thing. What is your name? Jay. Jay what? York. Okay, Jay York. I want to tell you one thing, Mr. Jay York. This, he has overgone his boundaries at this point. I want to tell you, I, no, I want to tell you. Thing. I want to tell you one thing. Stop it, no. You will not, you will, he will wrestle you, but I, one thing, you do not punch, you do not bite, you do not kick, you're not going to do any of that, and then, then we will do it. And if you do it, that's it. I will have that. Come on. gentlemen, so far everything I have done for you tonight, really I am only fooling. <laughs> this is really me, and everything else was just a character I was doing for you. But I want to say I am very happy to be here, but you know, uh, it's a very beautiful place, but one thing I don't like is too much traffic. You know, tonight I had to come from Long Island on the Long Island Expressway. Thank you very much. And I was on the highway, and it was so much traffic, it took me an hour and a half to get here. But talking about the terrible things, my wife, take my wife, please take her. No, really I am only fooling. I love my wife very much, but she don't know how to cook. You know, one night she makes steak and mashed potato, and the night before she makes spaghetti and meatballs. Her cooking is so bad.
Well, cooking is so bad. It's terrible. <laughs> but I would like to tell you the story of the, of the two penguins were on a piece of ice. And one day, two penguins were on the piece of ice, and one day the ice broke in half. So the two penguins, they are cry very crying, you know, they are excited to never see each other again. But one day, they see each other again. So they get closer and closer to each other, and finally, one of them, he say something which was very funny, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Right now, I would like to do for you some imitation. So first, thank you very much. First, I would like to do the Archie Bunker. You stupid. Everybody's so stupid. You meet and get out of my chair. You think that going to the kitchen make me the food. Thank you very much. Now I would like to do, to do the uh, Ed Sullivan. No, 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 wait until I give you the punch. Wait. <laughs> now I have to start all over again. I lose my plate. You know, I am very happy to be here, but one thing I don't like is too much traffic. Tonight, it was so much traffic, it took me an hour and a half to get here. But, but uh, my wife, she don't know how to cook. You know, her cooking is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad, it's terrible. But right now, I would like to do for you the Ed Sullivan. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on the big stage, we have the really big show, so come to see the really big show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, now last, but not to be the least, I would like to do for you the Elvis Presley. <laughs> Come to live 
you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right now, may I please have my clothes back? Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a beautiful audience, and I'd like to sing this song especially for you. Yep, it's a friendly world. You know, we should all treat each other like brothers and sisters. So everybody turn to the person sitting next to you and say, Hi, brother. Hi, sister. Very good. And now everybody, put your arm around the person sitting next to you and sway back and forth and rhythm to the music. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on, even if you don't like the person sitting next to you. Come on, everybody, sway back and forth. And now, everybody sing. The world is such a wonderful place. Come on, everybody sing. It's fun. Come on. Oh, the world is such a wonderful place. Here we go. Oh. Tony Clifton? Okay, I just want to explain, you know, Tony Clifton is a man that I saw in 1969 in Las Vegas, and I did, used to imitate him, put makeup on and imitate him for many years. And uh, people think, you know, I used to open my shows in makeup doing him, but about a year ago, the real man, I was able to afford to hire the real man. That's who has been opening for, for me now. So the man you saw before is the real Tony Clifton. And what I'm going to do for you now is just my imitation, which I was doing for those many years. Okay? Do we have a mustache? Okay, yes. Okay, okay, listen. I was, I wrote this song when I was in South Carolina. And I was, I was traveling toward the South. Is this it? Yeah, I was traveling toward the South. And I took out my pen, I copied down this line. I copied down this line. And it went something like this. It's how it goes. Yeah, now, just start up the band, straight up the band. Oh, 
I said that if you're all good, we're all going to go out for milk and cookies. Well, I've hired... Okay, now you've all been very good. Really have. Okay. And um, I'd like to take you all out for milk and cookies now. So if you'll all please, in an orderly manner, there's 20 buses out waiting for you outside. Wait a minute, and listen to instructions. There are enough buses for everyone if the buses each make two trips. So everyone who gets out, go on the buses, and the buses will make If you don't get on the first round of buses, don't worry, they will be back for you. So just wait patiently. So everybody, please go out like nice ladies and gentlemen, and go out, and, and the buses will be waiting for you outside. Just follow me, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Where are the buses? Out this way. Oh, is there an umbrella? Where are we going to go? Where are the buses? Right across the street. Come on, everybody.